My dog pees when he's nervous. You've heard people say that. And they might say to you, don't greet them inside. Always pet them when they're outside. So if they do pee, they won't get anything on the carpet. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Do you know a dog that when you approach them, they sink a little low, they drop their head, they tuck their tail, they just get lower and lower to the ground. And as you approach them, you can see them sort of squint and just be really uncomfortable. And that same dog, if it gets too uncomfortable, just might do just a little bit of a pee. Well, if you know a dog like that, then this video is going to help you to know how to approach that dog and to help them to feel more comfortable and more confident in their interactions. It's horrible enough to see a dog afraid like that, but when it's a friend's dog or a dog you meet on the street, it's not so bad. But what about if it's your dog? Doesn't your heart just break just a little bit? When you approach your dog and your dog sort of drops their head, licks their lips, blinks their eyes, turns their head away, and you say, why? I've never hurt you. I wouldn't hurt you. Why can't you trust me? Well, that's, that's a heartbreaking situation. So what do you do? Well, you have to look at it like it's a dog's perspective. Here's how a dog is going to interpret what happens when you walk over real quick, when you stare at them, when you put your hand on top of them to pet them. It's all done out of love, but at the same time, it's a scary situation for your dog. So let's see what we can do to help your dog to be more comfortable when you are approaching them. This is not excited peeing. We're gonna do a video, and if it's not already up, it will be very soon, on dogs get nervous because they're excited. Does this picture look familiar? Here's a person bending over to pet a dog. Straight on, straight to the dog, hand on top of the dog's head. This is scary for your dog. So think about what you can do to help your dog to feel better about people approaching then your dog will not be as likely to pee when he's nervous. Look at this picture of this adult dog standing over top of this other dog. Look at the body language. This is the way that a dog normally reacts to a dog that's trying to control them. And isn't that exactly what it looks like to your dog when you walk up to them quickly, when you put your hand out, you pet them on top of the head, or you talk loudly, you stare at them, all those things. So here's what we're gonna do so that you know how to approach your dog, so that your dog is more comfortable, more able to relax on your approach. Please don't forget, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, and then you will receive all the episodes. When I first got Nikki, and she is a dog that I adopted when she was about three years old. Nikki was afraid. And if I looked at her directly, if I walked directly up to her, if I leaned over her, if I petted her on the head, all those things, she would go down low. She wouldn't pee, but she would do everything else. Go down low, turn her head away. I'm gonna walk away, I'm out of sight now. And I'm gonna walk up, and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna basically turn around to the side. I'm gonna pet Nikki on the side that's closest to me. I'm gonna stay away from her head. I'm gonna almost back into her. I'm coming in from the side, not from the front. If you make a 90 degree angle towards your dog, your dog is much more likely to have you approach and they don't get upset. Nikki's ears are back a little bit. So what do you do? You go down lower. And when you go down lower and you are back away from your dog and you're not touching them, 
on the top of their head, then they're more likely to come over to you. And when they come over to you, it's the rule of consent. You want your dog to want to come to you. So I'm gonna pet her, and yes, I can pet her on top of the head now. I can, well, shake off her a little bit that um, she wasn't quite comfortable with both hands on top of her head. But I can pet her, I can talk to her. I know that she's not gonna be upset. But that was not the way it started with me and Nikki. She was afraid, and the only way to get her to really come to me was to lay down. So I would lay down, and she would come to me as long as I was down, laying down on the floor, on the bed, or on a bench, Nikki would come to me. So, you know, if you have to do that, do that. Let your dog know that you're willing to go down low, that you're willing to help them to feel comfortable. In order to help a dog that is nervous when a person approaches, you can teach them to do tricks. One of the things that I work on with Nikki is on the bench. And it helps her to know that instead of being on the ground, that she can be up and it's a game. So Nikki, off the bench. Good girl. Nikki, on the bench. Good. So it gives her something to use her brain. Another thing that is very helpful is teach your dog to touch. Nikki, touch. Good. Flatter your hand. Just let them touch with their nose and you're going to click or say yes. So Nikki, touch. Good. This way, your dog's not looking at you. You're not making direct eye contact. They're giving, you're giving your dog a way of coming close without intimidating. Nikki, touch. Good job. And make it a fun game. Teach your dog to sit. So when you say to them, sit, they're focused on something else or lie down something that your dog will do and tricks so we're going to try one of Nikki's favorite tricks Keep off the bench good girl Nikki take a bow good girl favorite thing for Nikki to do okay over here sweetie Nikki take a bow good job this way Nikki is focusing on something else instead of my approach Nikki on the bench good girl and we're very happy to say that Nikki now has earned the title Trick Dog Novice. And we'll show you her ribbon and her certificate. It will be coming very soon. Anyone can work with their dog, teach them some simple tricks, and apply to get your, your title as well. Do everything to help your dog to feel comfortable. Even when you're petting them, if you go over top and pet them, that's very intimidating. So, you see the yawn there? When I go over top, it's as if I'm trying to control her. So stay on this side. Stay on the side that's closest to your dog. Remember, yawning, if you don't know, is a way for a dog to relieve stress. Relieve stress that they're feeling inside themselves, to try to relieve the stress that you might be feeling and just the general environment. So help your dog to feel more comfortable to help them to want you to approach them. So any dog that's nervous needs to have a safe place where they can go in, where no one will bother them, and they feel like they are safe and secure. Beezy and I have a system. When we want her to come to us, she's not gonna come for food, so it doesn't do me, doesn't do me any good to have food. We pat our leg. Come on, Bees. Come on, Bees. Come on, sweetie. Good girl. We pat our leg and we let Beezy come out to us. We turn around the, away from her. Come on, Bees. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Beezy. Oh, what a good girl. Good girl. And as long as I'm facing away from her, good job, Beezy. Good job. Uppy up. Good girl. And what she does is she jumps up on me. If you have a dog that pees when he's nervous or she's nervous, be patient, take your time. Remember, never a direct approach. Always come from the side. Don't lean over your dog and stare at them. See your head go to the side? So that means that 
If you're staring at your dog and your dog's looking back at you, then what are you going to do? Blink your eyes, turn your head to the side, turn your body to the side. Because watch what happens if I look directly at her and then see the paw raise? These are all signs. So you can see some uh, more tips in this video, things you should not do to your dog. And also in this three most important things to do with a puppy. So I hope this video has helped you to help your dog to have more confidence if they are nervous when you approach them. At Diamond Dog Training, we provide positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. Remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the episodes. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.